back out again after last week's Easter break we're back in Scotland it's wild today so windy that we're not going high up we've come and camping by a lock yeah it's a, a, a reservoir actually not a lock Megat reservoir it's huge it's massive we've walked for miles and we found a little uh, we found an old like a shelter behind the wall for the wind it's so windy it's just coming straight off that it's horrendous isn't it so we're gonna cross this river of death Ooh. Ugh. through the trees of terror I'm gonna set up here we're basically car camping because we're not far from the car like just can't cope with that wind we were gonna go up the back of there oh ah it's over the back of there so we're gonna keep these hills for another time and just camp here for tonight just to just to get out just to do a camp really all right we've got to cross this right, here we're gone so the last one is a big gap There's a big gap here. Oosh! Done it. No you bother. Yes. Easy. <laughs> here we go. Here's the comedy. That was it, the river crossing of certain death. And we were almost killed. Almost. So here we are. We're all set up. And we're cosy little sheep pen. <laughs> Can't believe we're camping a sheep pen, man. What's happened to us? This is not me. This is not who I am. It is today. Good. Nice and uh, it's nice around here. Just lying in the sun. We've got all our winter stuff still, winter bags and that. Some usual beers. I got that one as a new one. Divine Faith, eight percent. And this is me, um, random one. This this week we will have a Brew Dog Silk Road. Lychee and Mango Hazy IPA. The road is long and fruity. Is it now? <laughs> See a now. Nothing. Good bottle of vodka. Right, so there we are. We're literally right on the edge of the water. We think that it would just be absolutely wild up here. And you know, if I'm being honest, I was a little bit tired today. I think we're still worn out after last week. We had a massive hike last week and then uh, on the Saturday. And then on the Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, we had another huge hike. I think we've recovered. So we're not fussed about camping in a sheep pen near the road. At least we're out. I'll have a look down in the lock in a minute. It's not a lock, a reservoir. Mate, how oh, Random beer number three. Hold on. It's Silk Road, it's called. Lychee and Mango Hazy IPA. Light cheese. You like cheese? Let's have this, eh? Oh, God. That tastes like Palmer Violets. 
Oh, it's weird. Ooh, nah, I'll not be getting that again. 6.5%. It tastes like Palmer Violets. Try it. Palmer Violets. Oh, it stinks. It smells nice. It tastes. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Palmer Violets. Palmer Violets. Oh, I don't know. It's got a weird taste. It's light cheese and mango. Well, I decided I don't like cheese. You don't like cheese? Not if that's what it tastes like. That's bizarre, that. Silk Road. Right, here I am. I'm out with the Olight head torch, right? And I'm not one for promoting stuff like this. Head torches and torches and all that. But I love it. I do love a good torch. What we're on here is... The lowest setting. So now you're walking, you're walking around. And you want to see where you're going. That's the lowest setting. So what I'll do is I'll wave my hand in front of the torch, brighten it up, brighten it up again. What's the high setting? You could get used to that, couldn't you? You could do that. How bright is it over there? Insane. It's really bright. Yeah. So yeah. It is good. I've already had one comment saying that um they've already sent one back because it was faulty, but I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll do another follow-up. I'll do a little follow-up video. But for now, look at how bright this is, man. It's mad. It hasn't got that pin spot, you know, but do you need that? I don't think you do. I think what you need is, if you're walking, you need to be able to see where you're walking. So flood, flood beam is good. Flood beam is better than spotlight. Spotlight is impressive, but flood beam is very practical. Look at that one. Here it is off. On. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> little little monster there. Little monster face. Right, yeah, so anyway, we're just having uh, a few drinks. Time's getting on now, like. So we're gonna be packing in shortly. That's it. Are you chilly? Freezing. Cad. Really cold. Cad as can be. Yeah. Look at that. It's really good, isn't it? See when you put your hand over it there. Where's, the, where's that light? That must be the video. It's the side light on the, oh, it's the head top. No, it's not. It's the camera, man. It's the phone. It? It's off the phone. So there you go. I mean, that that phone light is on. But that's the head torch. All right. It's good. It's quite impressive. Right, let's get back to the tent. Out the wind. That's a bizarre place, isn't it? It's like the ruins of doom. It's like the temples of terror. This was a doorway of death. You can see where they've uh... right here we go. We are testing the red light capabilities of these head torches. So Leah, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Is it some... a petal? Nah, it's just some cheap one off um Lenon. Lenon. Some... Right, so turn it on. Right, turn it on. It's on? Oh, it's on. Right. <laughs> so that's that. And this is the uh, the all light. Boosh! <laughs> it's nuts. It's a good red light, that like. So in case you don't know, right, what you need a red light for is if it's a starry, starry night and you want to see the stars, the red light doesn't wash out your... Um, doesn't wash out your night vision so that's why red lights are good but also if you've got a bright red light it's good to see it's like it, honestly it's like infrared it's mad. You, blind people with that. you can't blind people with this like but you've got to just not look at them just don't look at people so that's it so that's why the red light on this is very good because you can see a good area you don't fall around you don't do whatever. Right, do your skin. Okay. No, red. 
red. There's Leon's red. And this is the all light. Boom! So there you go. So get yourself an all light. But yeah, it's really good for the starry nights. I'm hoping to see a starry night tonight, aren't we? Right, so what we're doing is we are just listening to the end of Radio 2. Um, preparing for Craig Charles to come on. What we're going to do tonight, Leanne, what are we going to do? Who are we going to mention? Oh, I've got to mention. Oh, get the light out of my eye. I'll try to. I've got to mention Isaac. Yeah. Who? Isaac. Isaac? Yes. Who's Isaac like? You know who Isaac is? Just remind us. <laughs> Abby's little stepson. I know he's Abby's little stepson. I was feeding the lane. Isaac, get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know what makes sense. You know what makes sense. It's about it, really. You gotta unsubscribe, aren't you? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Nah, I'm not, man. No, nah, but it's good. Little young kids need to get out and do a bit of wild camping because it makes sense. Just get away from the screens, learn the tricks of the trade, just go out and enjoy the wild, man. It's great. Crack. Anyway, we're hearing the news now. Craig Charles is coming on 10 o'clock show. So we're going to get in and do a little bit of uh, disco dancing. Should we do some disco dancing? Yeah, we'll do some disco dancing. We'll get the disco light on shortly. Get the gloves on the feet. And then we'll probably just... the light on for John. Hi. Who's John? Your brother John? What's his real name? <laughs> See, George, could have actually said, give you a proper shout out. What's his name? He's my brother. What's his name? Do you know, John, if I was you, I would just disown her. No, I won't get out of your face. Get back here. Andrew! Get back here. Oh. She's called as Andrew. She's called as Andrew. That's it. It's all over. It's gone fucking wrong. Right. Here we go. We are having a disco night. Disco tent. You've got to have a disco tent, like. Would you like to mention anybody, Leanne? John. And who's John? My brother. Where is he? Mm -hmm. So he gets special treatment, does he? Yeah. I'll give him special treatment. <laughs> I've got special treatment. Stop. Right, we're back in the room. So have you had a good night? Yeah, I feel really drunk. <laughs> I think I had put a straw when I came in here. And then what happened? Get the camera out. And then what happened? And then, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, sod off. Hey. I'll not have that kind of descent get out, Andrew. in the ranks. Andrew! I won't have. Baby shark! <laughs> Baby shark! Baby shark! I don't doop, know what mommy shark is. Ruppy soupy oh, doop, doop. anyway. Right. That's so that's it. So we hope everyone's had a good night tonight. We've had a good night. Um. Number five coming alive. It looks like Johnny number five coming alive. Remember that? Oh. Um, and that's it, really. Anything else to add? Um, nope. Right, Except well, it's absolutely freezing. Yeah, it's cold out here. And we're going to bed. Yeah. So we'll see you in the morning. Boosh! I said boosh! Get out and do a bit. Morning comes out here now. Zero's a. There's nothing. Nothing. Nobody about. Uh, somebody about. Some bodies are about. All right, well, we're just gonna get a cup of tea on and pack up and go. Bit of a short video, not much happening. Bit of a cock up with the GoPro again. I forgot to bring the charger cable and the spare battery. So I've had to use the phone again. No time lapse. 
No night lapse. Now zero zip zilch. That's the view over there. We'll come back and do some of these hills when we have the energy. Right, until next time, kettle on.